We're getting rid of the JK. The JK is uh, going uh, up for sale soon. So what we're doing right now is to get the Gladiator out of the garage to where it needs to be. We're having to swap tires onto this and then tires back onto this. So this is gonna be chilling on jack sands, uh, being preserved in the garage out of the weather. It's doing really well. Everything looks really good. Everything's really solid. Got the tires loaded up, stock tires. Somebody's wanting to bomb, so got them loaded up in the bed, doing truck stuff. It's like 28 degrees, I think. It's uh, JL and the JT usually have really good um, heat controls and all that. The heat gets hot quick. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, the JK, it took a little while to get some warmth going, but uh, it says 25 degrees actually on the little screen right here, but having a hard top definitely makes all the difference. Really, uh, and also this eight speed automatic transmission, it's got those super, super short shifts. So it's, uh, it's really nice. You have a lot of power, it feels like. All right, here to pick up the uh, new tires for the Gladiator. We'll uh, definitely show you guys that, what we got, what we chose. And, and uh, notice these rigs over here. This is a nice LJ on some Nitto 37s. Got some nice fenders. I don't know if that's a Poison Spider, most likely. Long arm Terraflex, of course. Uh, got the uh, coil relocate on the frame to have that straight coil. A lot of detail went into this build, it looks like. You know, you got painted coils and stuff like that. Looks like some Johnny joints. And then spider locks, of course. Definitely a clean build. I'm sure it's very capable off-road as well. It's got to be everything that's done to it. Beefed up front axle, looks like a 44. This is pretty sick. <laughs> this thing is stretched out front and rear. That's a nice TJ. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy how that's relocated. You can see those uh, junkyard tones. That's really cool. We got the Kings all mounted up in there. I can still see the steering linkage there, but all really cool to see how people do this stuff. And this bumper is actually custom uh, welded to the frames. Really cool to see that, but. Uh, these arms look custom too. Definitely very, very beefy. That's a large front end stretch. Definitely very cool. That rear stretch is cool, but so they got like a rear custom frame section. Dude, that looks cool. Always love seeing this. The amount of space right here and then just a control arm, just a big bar sticking there. It looks really cool. This thing is from Texas. That's, that's awesome. I wonder what it's doing over here. All right, guys, we got the uh, 40s loaded up, all fresh back here. They uh, smell good and look good and all that. Super exciting, I cannot wait to get back and mount these up. So super excited about that. Hopefully that'll do pretty good on the ride home, but. All right, guys, you can see the 40s in the back and the truck bed uh, behind me right now. Got that fresh smell, of that Nitto. The Nitto, they use that super thick, uh, durable rubber so you don't really slash your sidewalls as much on these as you do like on Pro Comps or Goodyear MTRs. They've always rode very smooth, very round. for the freight or whatever shipping super thick lugs on the sidewall and you can just tell how soft they are but anyways you know you've got like that as like a claw i guess and uh i'm gonna see what we can't get knocked out so we are going to uh grab a ring freshly painted gloss black ring with a flake in it 
see how that looks we've got to soap the back of the ring too but uh that's gonna be pretty much how it looks guys They are mounted, all four of them. Just finished airing them up, so it does add a little bit more sidewall bulge whenever you do put air in tires. So this is uh, this is it. So you can kind of see the color match now and see how it's going together. Torque them down properly and be good to go. It's pretty big, not gonna lie. That uh, added lift height in the front and uh, that wheel spacer really, really kicks it out there. That's And that Rubicon flare, that's just, yeah. Four of them mounted up. Really need to get some light. It's sitting on a hill right now, so it's squatting a little bit. But um, the stance on this thing is crazy. Like. Yeah, it's it's a lot. Driving to go get some pictures now. Uh, you can definitely hear the mud grabs. It actually drives a lot better than I expected. Like, no vibrations whatsoever, no shimmies, nice and smooth. All right, guys, check them out, man. That's the tall and skinny 40. That's uh, a vision that we've always dreamed of. Love, love, love the combination and the uh, color match, how everything turned out. So happy with it, guys. Crazy, too. I mean, you can see the light exposure on the tread of the tire, just like how much it is. Uh, do, do have to throw in that front drive shaft, so we'll do that here soon. I just got like a little milkshake thing, but we're just <laughs> out here chilling, get some, some good footage and some pictures and stuff like that, you know, while we can, some good lighting. Uh, we'll see about that, see how the things play out see how that works but um here's a better picture of the paint work and all that and then obviously the rear um, of the wheel too as you can see right there it's all painted color matte super aggressive stance guys the new headlights look good too but uh yeah it turned out really good stubby bumper got that stinger cut off uh, little things here and there you know Catch me if I I'm with my front camera right now. It's a little blurry as you can tell, but uh, I got the Jeep back to the house. Just put gas in it and stuff like that. These tires still smelling brand new. Really enjoying them. They actually still have like some of the hairs on them as you can tell, like closer to the edge and the center, but still driving really well. Man, these Nittos, they uh, always ride so good. But um, this is a pretty cool view right here. Probably get some pictures like this.